Being on the front lines in the fight to educate the next generation is tough. The goal of this podcast is to provide you with important updates, encouragement, and connection. Welcome to the Institute Leaders Lifeline. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Institute Leaders Lifeline. My name is Mike Sinclair and I am the Deputy Superintendent of School Support at the Charter Institute at Erskine. This is our holiday episode, so we are so glad that you joined us and we're going to share some great ideas for you to relax and have fun and also some great wishes for you and your family and your friends as you go in. I'm joined today by our Superintendent, Mr. Cameron Runyon. Welcome to the podcast. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. Thanks, Mike. It's it's great to be here and certainly hope that all of our folks that are listening today aren't on their way to school or <laughs> you know right. getting their coffee at the drive-thru on their way to school right. or uh, shuffling children in uh, and around. We hope that they're enjoying their holiday and unplugging a little bit. Uh, what a what a great season of, of year this is in between our first half of the year and second half of the school year and an opportunity to really unplug and you know let's recharge those batteries a little bit and get ready for January. Yeah. No, that's good. And I agree. I agree. You know, that alarm goes off every morning. It's nice to have a little bit of time where that alarm doesn't wake you up each each time. We've talked about lately um, stress and anxiety. Reagan McCullough was here and gave us some really good physical activities and some health things to look for. Uh, So we're going to kind of wrap that up. So as we talk today, I'd love to hear some things that you're going to do with your family and as individual to uh, refresh and reprogram yourself to be um, hitting January running. So let me share a few ideas that just to kind of break the mold. I think sometimes we can get in that routine and next thing we know, it's January 2nd and we go to school the next day and we're like, oh God, I didn't do what uh, what I needed to do. So here's some ideas. So first of all, um, make a playlist. So, you know, we always like to listen to music and stuff like that, but often we listen to someone else's playlist. So mix it up, playlist, bring back some things that um, maybe you haven't thought about since I was going to say the 80s, but maybe some of our listeners weren't born in the 80s. But older music to bring back some of those memories. I think it's important that we mix up those uh, things in our head. So make a playlist. I think that's a great opportunity for our listeners to go through. Find a new coffee shop would be another one or, or a restaurant. I think it's important that we plug in with other people. You know, sometimes we get in that work routine and we forget the social aspect of uh, as, as being a human, that we need to be interacting with others. We also break that routine. You know, I'm guilty of there's probably three restaurants we go to and we always go to the same ones and it's nice to go out to eat, but breaking that routine, going to something new, learning a new place, uh, going a different uh, direction out of my driveway. I think uh, I would encourage our listeners to do some of those things. Uh, Write a card. This is one that I think is important and we overlook it because with text messages and emails, everything becomes so technology based, but sit down and just write a card to two people. Um, We've been talking about gratitude. Our last episode was specifically about gratitude. So uh, find a family member, find a friend you haven't connected to and handwrite something, put a stamp on it if you even know where your stamps are and shoot that out uh, and to tell them what you're thankful for. Um, I think all of that will help their stress. And anytime we help someone else and, and, and we pour into someone else, I think it is a great opportunity for us to decrease our own stress and anxiety. So three things, uh, you know, make that playlist, find a new restaurant or coffee shop and, and handwrite some notes and send them out. So um, those are just some of the new things that came to my mind as I'm going to plan through my next two weeks. But what are some things that you do or that you're looking forward to doing over the break to recharge? I think one of the biggest things is not an activity. It's actually the lack of an activity okay. to take that phone, put it down and, and don't let it be tethered to you everywhere you're going. You know, set your text messages, put an auto reply on your text messages. Did you know you can do that <laughs> so that people know that, hey, I'm on I'm on break. I'll get back to you, but it may be a little while. Update your voicemail. Same thing. Put a new message on your voicemail. Leave it there for the next two weeks. Let folks know, hey, I'm recharging, getting ready for the, for the new year. So I think for me, that's one of the biggest things that I plan to do is, is to just sort of turn off the devices, yeah. spend time with family. As you know, I've got four girls, four <laughs> daughters and my wife and a female dog. So I'm surrounded by <laughs> wonderful ladies. But to, to spend time you know, with them, just us, you know, as a family to have time together and, and really recharge because we've all been running so hard. Same, just like our school leaders, you know, we're running hard all day. And and sometimes just the by the nature of our jobs, you know, we, we pour into other people's families and other people's children, but let's pour into our own and, and spend time. And if, you know, if we don't have children at home anymore, then, you know, pour into those people that are, that are close to you, spend time, cherish those relationships. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's what we're really going to remember uh, about our life. It's going to be those relationships and, and the time that we've had together. And, you know, 
over the years, I've, I've received many gifts from people uh, of things that were given to me, but the, what I remember the most, I can't really tell you too many gifts that I've received over the past 46 years, but but what I do remember are those times right, uh, that right. we've had together with friends and family. So that'd be my, my really strong encouragement. Put the device down, spend time with people face-to-face, eye-to-eye, and talk. Yeah. You know, I've never thought about the auto text reply and change the voicemail. We think about email, but that's a great strategy on um, those. And, that, and then that lets others, as a leader, it's important to um, model what you expect your team to do. So I think that's important message for you to send out to our team is unplug and, and, and setting that example is perfect. So I love those ideas. So when we come back, January is going to be a busy month. We've got lots going on. I know our, our schools have a lot going on. So what are some things, maybe one or two or three things that you're looking forward to when we come back in January? Well, looking forward to coming back refreshed. Yeah. Uh, so I, we are taking a vacation uh, as a family and getting away. So we're looking forward to that. So first of all, coming back with a full you know, tank of, uh, of gas uh, there. Um, but I, I'm personally, I'm looking forward to the legislature coming back in. Um, the legislature has been very good to charter schools. We have new leadership in the legislature this yeah. year. We have a new superintendent of education. Ellen Weaver is assuming the reins of the State Department and Shannon Erickson, our good friend uh, from Beaufort County, is now chairing our education committee. So I think there's going to be an increased emphasis on how can we uh, further support as a state parents, uh, how can we support students and how can we support our school choice community, of, which means, of course, you know, we're part of that. So so for me personally, you know, I'm very, very excited about that. Um, I'm looking forward to schools of excellence and local schools of distinction and, and celebrating the successes that our schools have had uh, in the past year you know, versus the state with our schools of excellence and then versus their local district uh, with our schools of distinction as well. So, you know, it's a great time in January, February to, to really celebrate those successes and get ourselves, get our staffs, get our kids, you know, fired up for, you know, we're going to have state testing before you know it, you come into the new year and you're rolling right downhill uh, into that. And that'll be the next marker that gets set down uh, for all of us. So let's celebrate those successes. Let's rally ourselves up and uh, and push hard uh, into the spring. And and let's have another great year because that's what we saw coming out of COVID that, you know, charter schools continued to perform uh, better than their peers uh, in the traditional school network, simply because I think we have to because right. we're we're a, a market based alternative in education, and so parents are seeking an alternative, and, and we're we're filling that need for them, and it's it's rewarding for us, uh, but most importantly, it's it has a generational and a multi generational impact on students. So that's what I'm looking forward to being in these buildings, seeing all these kids, celebrating confetti uh, going yeah. off, and and spending time with our our leaders, getting the opportunity to to talk again in the new year and and to to celebrate with them. Yeah. That, and I'm glad you brought that up. That's to me is really important is that you start with momentum. You don't just kind of ease back in, start with something to celebrate. Um, and I'm looking forward to making those school visits as well and all that confetti. And um, I think a great point is that parents choose to come to charter schools. So they believe in us. So we need to believe in ourselves enough to put that product out and be proud of what we do, be confident what we do and um, attack that. You know, we talk about being active, seeking the innovation, seeking the change. Don't let it come to you. Um, <clears throat> piece of it on that. So I'm just excited about the whole Christmas season, the break, the, all, all the things that are coming up um, here. So before we wrap up, if you got any um, just thoughts to share with our leaders, uh, some encouragements, anything like that, that is a personal end? Yeah, I, I'm just so proud of them and, and the job that they have done. I mean, they're just some of the most amazing people. I could never do their job. In a thousand years, I could never go run a school and, and you've done it and you know how hard it is. And you know that, you know, even as a as a national blue ribbon award winner, which you are, you're never there. Like Absolutely. you always have to get better because there's always more students. But that's the beautiful thing is that there's always more students, right. that there's always another wave that's coming through. And you have that opportunity to impact a life and to impact lives and to change generations, because the truth of it is, is that our school leaders our teachers, our staff in our schools, they spend more time with these children than their own families do. So it's just what an amazing responsibility and an amazing impact. I was reflecting this morning on we all have that teacher, you know, we have somebody from our education uh, background that you know, changed us. And for for so many children, and we may never know, 
you're going to be that person. You're going to be the one that has changed that life and, and taught that person something. For me, it was uh, Joyce Punt, my third grade teacher. I'll, I'll never forget her, but she she was the hardest teacher I think I ever had in 12 years. But she taught me how to push beyond my own limits. And I would not be the person I am today had she not taught me how to overcome and, and to push and, and taught you taught me how, how much I was actually capable of. And so those lessons, you don't realize that that nine months that we spent together, um, that there's still things that, that carry on and we're still friends. And, you know, she follows my career and, and she's just a wonderful woman. Um, and we had, you know, there are many teachers like that that impacted our lives. But but that's what an exciting thing to look forward to. And as we come back in January, there's just so much potential in these children. And, and we're we have the opportunity to unlock that potential. Absolutely, absolutely. And 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 thanks for sharing that about a teacher. I think it's always great when we can shout out and celebrate those that have poured in our lives. And 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 I appreciate your perspective on the school leader. And I would encourage our leaders to know that your role is unique. You know, as a school leader, you do things that we don't have to do or that we're not necessarily skilled at doing. And so I really appreciate the role that you play in representing us in so many ap uh, avenues or so many um, meetings, whether it's at the legislature or different um, local boards or local opportunities um, for you to put the message out about our schools, because that takes the load off of us. You're making a difference that maybe our leaders don't see. So I do want to um, make sure we include that today. I appreciate your and you're so good at celebrating the leaders, but we need to celebrate the things that you do for us as well. So I appreciate that a well, lot. Well, thank you. I'm having fun and I hope they are too. Well, good, good. We're about to take a break. We're going to take our own um, advice. We're going to take a break. So the podcast will be on hiatus until January the 2nd. So make sure that you're checking out all of our social media platforms. January 2nd, we'll be back. January is loaded with some really great interviews. We talked about that um, a little bit, and we'll talk about it in the uh, January 2nd episode. We got some big leaders coming up, so I know you'll want to make sure you're checking our social media platform so you don't miss it. So from all of us here at the Charter Institute at Erskine, have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Take care of yourselves and take care of those you lead. Be sure to follow the Institute on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. At Erskine Charters, We'll have all of these resources, including this podcast, many stories of our schools, and other things. So check us out. The opinions expressed within the content are solely the authors and do not reflect the opinions and beliefs of the Charter Institute at Erskine or its affiliates.